The way games are made is about to change big time, and in this video, I'm going to explain why the end of indie game dev as we know it is nearing. The game you see before your very eyes was created almost entirely using free AI tools such as ChatGPT. As you may already know, I talk a lot about AI on this channel and how you can use it effectively to make game dev easier. While I totally support the idea of using AI to aid the creation process, something more sinister is happening. This year, the game dev industry has been changed forever. The introduction of artificial intelligence has transformed the game development process into something that almost anyone can do with little effort. I simply asked ChatGPT to show me the script for a first-person camera and the script for a mechanic that would drive the red ball towards the player, making sure to avoid the obstacles. I also asked it to implement double jump and sprinting, which it could do with ease. Within 60 minutes, I had a perfectly playable game that with a few bug fixes and additional features could easily be uploaded to Steam. In 2018, Steam Direct was launched and a tsunami of low quality asset flips drowned the marketplace, making it more difficult for indie games to gain decent traction on Steam. The same is about to happen with AI, but this time the consequences are likely to be much more damaging and transformative. Look, I think we all know where this is going. I could talk all day about the potential for mass joblessness as more productive and efficient AI technology replaces humans, but I'd rather teach you how to use all of this software to your advantage, so you can ensure that you're not left behind during this AI revolution. So how can you use it in your indie games? Well, I'm not an expert coder and honestly consider my abilities to code quite amateur. So when ChatGPT came around in December 2022, offering the chance to view custom and completely tailored code solutions, I of course jumped on the opportunity. But I think it's still important to learn how to code for yourself. ChatGPT is not always right and can overcomplicate code quite often. As I said in my how to make your dream game with no experience video, the key here is using the AI to benefit the creation process, not to replace it. At this moment in time, AI voices simply can't replace a real voice actor, as it often sounds messy and unnatural. Likewise, the scores created by AI music generators simply don't sound as beautiful as a score composed by a real person. And yes, I do think the day is coming when indie game devs will too be replaced by technology that's able to do the job of five people in a fraction of the time. But the need for real people to manage this software will be a requirement for many years to come. Another thing you should take into account is the enormous amount of resources required to power AI technology, something that will significantly reduce the chances of nations reaching net zero by the middle of the century. If you enjoyed this video, please hit the subscribe button and like this video to see more. See you in the next video.